Think all bottled water is the same? Well, this morning we're going under the microscope to see why some are different than others. Joining us today is Damian Michaels of Evermore Water. It's a natural artesian water that doctors have shown to help with acid reflux as well. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having us. Let's talk about why different bottled water tastes differently. Well, it's interesting. All bottled waters are not really created equal. Um, some are basically uh, distilled or purified municipal waters that they bottle. Mm -hmm. Some are source waters, and, and source waters are kind of where you want to be when you're consuming bottled water. You can start off with spring, um, uh, and then there are well sources, which not really many well sources are, are bottled, but then there are artesian aquifers. Um, and artesian aquifers are kind of where you, where you want to be because ordinarily, it's water that is protected from the, the, the modern environment. Mm -hmm. um, it's water that's aged, uh, and it's basically just better tasting and, and pure as a source. And this source in particular is about a half mile beneath the surface. And then how is it brought up and what's done to it to get it to market? Well, what's interesting is the rain, uh, the, the water really starts out as rain and snow on the west side of the Appalachians. It takes trips uh, uh, of uh, thousands of years and, and uh, hundreds of miles through rock and sediment. It ends up in an artesian aquifer half a mile under the ground. It's a protected artesian aquifer. It means it never mixes with surface waters. Mm -hmm. So the beauty of it is, is that in this aquifer, it's aligned with the mineral composition that over time and pressure infuses the water with its not only great taste, but its natural health benefits, which in our case uh, is high pH. Uh, it's a naturally high alkaline water. Mm -hmm. And that's very rare. There are a couple of other sources in the world that are alkaline itself, but we're the only U.S.-based source that's high mm -hmm. uh, in alkalinity. And what does that really mean? Right. Um, What's the significance there? Well, part of the interesting part uh, 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 of Evermore is the Abita Water Collective really has been known as a place for the American Indians to bring the wounded and the elderly and it, and it calms fire in the belly and there's a number of things. People around where we live just call it great tasting water. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we had all these wonderful anecdotal stories about what consumers were telling us that, what the water did for them. And when we went to talk to um, Dr. Mehmet Oz in, in reference to Health Corps, and we wanted to, to help support Health, health Corps and all the great things that they do, um, he, he really said, well, that's great. You've got all this anecdotal information. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's your science? So we found this wonderful physician, um, Dr. Jamie Kaufman, um, who literally is a research physician. 30-something years, she coined the term silent reflux. She's a, an aerodigestive uh, medicine expert. Uh, and that's kind of an amalgam between uh, ear, nose, and throat and gastroenterology. And what she basically said was, well, I'll tell you why. And she, she did a study. And she said literally the water itself denatures pepsin. And for, I, 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 I pretended I knew what she was talking about, and I said, well, how, <laughs> would, I tell the, long. Right, how would I tell the layman what that really meant? How would I tell the average consumer? And she said, well, literally, uh, pepsin is the enzyme in your stomach that breaks down protein. And when you have acid reflux issues, it gets pushed back up into the aerodigestive tract, and it becomes tissue-bound. And when you drink or, uh, acidic foods or eat acidic foods, it reactivates it and it thinks it's in the stomach and it's supposed to start doing its job and mm -hmm. what it really starts doing is eating you uh, and, and, and doing all this damage and causing discomfort. What Evermore does is it permanently denatures, it permanently deactivates that pepsin and brings this soothing, you know, calm and, and, and refreshed feeling. And, and, you know, it, having said all that, if this stuff didn't taste great, you couldn't give it away. Mm -hmm. So, it, first and foremost, it's probably one of the best tasting waters you've ever had. And the way that you taste water, to be honest, everyone says you can't taste water, is try it at room temperature. Try it at room temperature versus any other bottled waters, and you'll be amazed at the taste. In addition to the uh, health aspects as well, a, a, a pH level of 8.8 of .8 is Correct. what Evermore has. For more information, you can check out their website, evermore.com. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having us.